episode of Mystic Mama Make. Today I'm going to be showing you three mistakes that are commonly made when children or adults are learning to knit and how to fix them. I'm also going to be showing you the safe way and the risky way to undo stitches. So first I'm going to show you how to undo stitches the slow and safe way. I've made a mistake on purpose here and so to show you how to fix that I'm first going to show you how to undo these first four stitches. So you can see that there's the new stitch there and the old stitch is in yellow from the other, the row beneath. Um, I call this backwards knitting with the children and this is the safest way to do it. So I'll show you the safe way and then I'll show you the risky way. Safe way is to use your left hand needle, go into the old stitch, when that's safe, pop the new stitch off and pull the yarn through. So find the old stitch, pop off, pull through, old stitch, pop off, pull through. Now old, see there's the bottom of the stitch in the top, we call this the hedge of the stitch, that bit, and this is the fence, so think of it as a little, little bush that's just in front of a hedge. What often happens when children aren't looking is they go through the hedge of the stitch, especially at the beginning, not the fence. So it's really important to just point out to children often that this part is the hedge and this is the fence. It's quite common for the hedge to go up over so they can't even actually see that there is a fence. So just remind them every now and then just to pop that hedge down at the beginning of the row so they go through the fence and around. Hedge, fence, through the fence and around. There we go. So this is another common mistake children make and adults make is that instead of just wrapping around once they'll wrap around twice, pull it through and then they'll keep going and then they'll get to the end of their row and you'll ask them to count their stitches because we started off with 10 and oh we have 11 so as you can see you can see where that's happened and if you pull it you can see that two stitches are coming out of the one there so I'll show you the risky way to undo it so we can go back and fix it you slide your needle out until we get to the mistake pull the yarn and then slide this needle through picking them all up making sure that you're kind of squeezing the top row so they don't undo and now we can fix this stitch so now we'll fix it by just undoing it there we go pulling it so that it's a bit tighter needle through that's it easy peasy easy peasy so I've finished this row and I've asked the child to count that we've got 10 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh no! We've lost a stitch. If we look at the work, we can see that a stitch has been dropped. A stitch has been dropped here, so we need to pick it up. You could either, if you don't feel confident picking up stitches, you can slide your work off the needle and then just pull the yarn and undo it until it gets to that row. But if you feel confident in picking up stitches, you can do it this way. You can use a crochet hook or you can just use your needle. I'm just going to use a needle because it's good to learn how to do it with just what you've got handy. So I'm just going to knit until I get to the point where it was dropped. Also if you don't want the child to drop the stitch any further straight away just go and grab a safety pin and just pin through there. So 
so if I I can see that the stitch was dropped here and with garter stitch it's actually a little bit easier to pick it up with stocking stitch but with garter stitch you see that the yarns on this side in front then behind then in front so we just have to be careful about how we pick it up so I'm going to put my needle through I'm going to pick up this one first and it's kind of like finger knitting use your nail and just so I've picked up one stitch so that was in front now we've got that stitch behind so I'll slide it onto the needle and children find it easier just to leapfrog it over some children do now this one so that was behind so this one must be in front so we'll put our needle through And because we haven't knitted it yet, we'll slide it over here and we can continue. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, please give it a like and share it around to others that you think might find it valuable. Also, please do subscribe to my channel because it really helps me out and I will be continuing to upload cool crafty tutorials specifically focused on how to teach children the craft but also if you're learning too I'm sure that it can't hurt. Um, so yeah thanks again for watching and I will see you next time. Ka kite. See you!